Allison here and in today's FileMaker tutorial we are going to learn how to create a duplicate alert so that if you are entering a contact name and it already exists it will show you on the screen automatically that you've already got this contact in the database which will help cut down on duplicate records which can be a tremendous problem. So let's get started. So we are looking at a basic contact card and we see first and last name, Melissa Castro. And the first thing we need to do is define a criteria for what will trigger a duplicate alert. And for today's example, we'll do that based on first and last name. So I'm gonna go into uh, File, Manage Database so that I can look at the fields uh, in the contact entry and they are very basic text fields. And we are going to create a calculation field for first and last name. So I'll call it first, last name. And the type is going to be a calculation and we'll create it. And I'll just make this a little smaller for you. And we're gonna choose the first name and use the concatenation um, symbol, which is the ampersand sign, and then select the last name. And that's gonna put those two together. And I'm gonna go ahead and just for, vis um, for visual sake, I'm gonna add a space in between those. So I'm going to uh, choose the quotes and then type a space and then just get out on the other side of that quote and choose the ampersand symbol again. So this will fill in with the first name of the person, uh, put in a space, and then have the last name together. And uh, if this is new to you, you can actually use calculations to create text strings. So that's what I'm doing here. And because it is a text string, I'm gonna go to the bottom left corner of this dialog box and uh, look at this uh, piece here that says calculation result is, and I'm gonna change it from number to text, and then say okay. So that's what it looks like in the field list, and we are done, so I'm gonna say okay, and I am going to edit the layout, and use the field picker to drag that field. I'm just gonna put this over here for a minute, so that we can just, this is gonna be our working area right here. Excellent, so then I'm gonna exit layout and you can see Melissa Castro's name uh, appears first and last. So I demonstrated in a previous video how you can um, use something like this to find duplicates and I will uh, go ahead and link to that for you uh, with, a, with a card and I'll put it in this description below. But for this particular video, I want to show you how when you create a record, you can um, show, the show that it's a duplicate. So I'm going to try to keep this very simple and I'm going to go into layout mode and I'm just going to type some text, duplicate. And I am going to bring my inspector over so you can see it. And I am going to um, fill it with a solid color and I'll fill it with red and I will change the um, text color to uh, white. And I'm just gonna put a little padding on this uh, too and two on the left so it's a uh, and then just stretch it out a little bit. I'm picky, I just want that. I know I could have centered it, but I didn't. So we'll just put that up here. Great. So now we are going to go back into uh, Manage Database and we have our contact entry table here and I'm going to hold my option key down and drag it so that I can get a duplicate copy of it and I'm going to rename it actually I'll just leave it contact entry 2 for our exercise and then I'm going to move down in both these windows 
to the first last name field and I'm going to drag to connect them. So what I'm essentially doing is called a self relationship. It's the same uh, table contact entry. Um, I don't know if I showed you that. Let's bring that over. So um, contact entry and contact entry. So we are linking a table to itself to create a relationship. And a little later on, I will show you what that looks like um, in a visual way rather than just talk about it conceptually. So we are done here. And so now I'm going to um, click on the portal tool and I'm just gonna drag that and I'm going to show related records from that contact entry table, that second instance of that table occurrence right here. And uh, we don't need that many, but uh, and then for the field, I'm just going to put that first last name field in the portal. And that's it. For so back in browse mode, we are looking at Marion. And when we go up to new record, and then we go ahead and type Marianne's first name and then type her last name. We see that she appears twice in the portal. So you can see that Marianne Conry is in fact um, in the database twice. So um, when you match her name, there's two records and those two records are showing. And if I go to the previous record, um, there's her uh, first record. And if I go to Arnaldo, you see he only shows once. So he only has one record in the database. But because Marianne Conry has two records in the database, both her records are showing up in this portal because both of these records match that um, first last name uh, data. So I hope that made sense. I know it can be a little tricky if you're unfamiliar with this. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them for you. Um, but for the moment, we're just going to um, accept that that's how that works and we're going to use that little trick as we go into edit layout mode and we click onto our text box and we go into the inspector uh, under the data section which is the far right icon and uh, go into the behavior section and hide object when and I'm going to go ahead and click the pencil icon and I am going to type the count function. And then I am going to count a field, not in this table, but in the table occurrence of contact entry two. And I'm gonna choose first name. So we're not counting um, in the current table occurrence, but in that new second um, table occurrence that we created, because we want to count um, how many records are showing in that portal window. So, and we want those um, to be uh, less than or equal to one. Essentially, we only want um, one record to show up, much like we only saw one record in that portal row. If it's more than that, then we want our duplicate um, flag or text box to uh, show up. If it's one or less, then it can stay hidden. So that is what we have done here. And so now when we exit layout, you can see that uh, Marion Conry is showing as a duplicate. And when I go to the um, previous record, it's also showing as a duplicate. But when I go to Arnaldo, the duplicate flag goes away. So going back, we have duplicate and here we have no duplicate. So that is how you can create a simple duplicate flag with some basic FileMaker skills that include creating a self relationship and uh, using the hide object uh, feature when based on a calculation. And also uh, we created a calculation field that was a text. 
So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, if you would give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more tutorials like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.